There's not a single time when you're not responsible for your child's emotion if the emotion came from you. So from God's perspective, there's not a single time from God's perspective when you're not responsible for your child's emotion, no matter what age they are, if the emotion came from you. Now that's fair, isn't it? You think about it. However, as they get older, so when they get to five, six, seven years of age, and they start making transitions into their own free will. And now they start, to, there's a blending, there's an interblending of the choices they're making into the law of compensation and into their own law of attraction. And that process slowly increases and increases until they reach maturity and they've left home. But the majority of causal emotions sitting in them is still your own as a parent. Does that make sense? So, but, but their choices they make as a result of that are going to be very different depending on what personality they have and how they respond to those injuries. So, for example, you can get two people who have been sexually abused. One of them will go off and sexually abuse someone else and another one won't abuse anybody at all. So why is that? It's because they, they both have the same sort of injury, but one of them is making a different choice than the other. And that choice is still an important part of their life. And, so that, and they are responsible for their choices. But when they're children, they are, they are just mostly reflecting our own choices. They're reflecting our own denied emotion. Does that make sense? The other, I had one other, other thing. Yep. When you were saying, um, uh, let them do things, I can't remember, it was a few minutes ago, uh, about tantrums. I just wanted to ask, when you've got like a two-year-old who wants a sharp knife mm -hmm. and you don't want them to have it because of the fear, they don't know how to handle a sharp knife, they don't know the cause and effect, mm -hmm. um, consequence, what do you do in that situation then? And they put on a tantrum or have that emotion because they're being denied What's the, um, what's the emotion of a tantrum? Anger, I guess. So it's anger. It's actually quite extreme anger, isn't it? It's like rage. And what would you say? It's, type, it's a sort of a rebellion type of emotion, isn't it? Where I'm rebelling against an authority. So the first thing to look at within yourself is those qualities, of what's going on inside, yourself, inside of yourself. Does that make sense? When... So if they are rebelling, they are rebelling against something. Now, a lot of times what they'll be rebelling against is emotions in you. Now, the emotion you described in you was fear. You were afraid that if you gave them a knife, they'd cut themselves, and then what would you do? Right? You don't want to see them hurt. So you're afraid of seeing your child hurt. Allow yourself to go into those emotions. Now, you can choose there and then if you want to take away the knife and let them have their tantrum. But if you don't deal with all the emotions that caused the tantrum and them wanting the knife, then in the end you're just going to create another event where they get the knife when you're not there. So in that situation, if I took the knife away but allowed them to still experience those emotions, like mm, but, go through it, but then while they're doing that or at an appropriate time, go through that fear and go into myself and why... When's the why appropriate not? time? Well, probably in the moment. Exactly. See, see, it's unfair for us to expect... Uh, take away the knife, put the knife in the drawer. Unf unfair for us to expect the child to have a tantrum while I'm not dealing with the emotion that caused their tantrum. Can you see that? I need to deal with the emotion that caused their tantrum. Now, oftentimes what causes their tantrum is that... Things like a child grabbing a knife will often be done because they are not getting enough attention, for example. Right? Where they feel there's not enough attention and they want to do something that's unsafe to get your attention. Now, that means that they're often not feeling loved in the first place when they actually go to do it. So allow yourself to see that going on within you. 